So today we're at McMillan Creek, actually the new McMillan Creek Fishing Park where McMillan runs into the Nachaco. Staff from the Ministry of Environment and myself are going to do some electrofishing to see what fish species are using the, the creek now that the culvert's been pulled out last year. Because previously the culvert was a barrier on this system. I guess you could say it's kind of in conjunction with the water quality program that we have going on. We know this stream has major impacts on it. So we've been doing some water quality testing as well to see what the impacts are. So we have a special piece of equipment called an electrofisher. Um, so in teams of two, one of the person wears the electrofisher. So the current passes between the anode and the cathode, it creates an electric field. And within that electric field, the, the muscles of the fish are, are, are shocked so that they're unable to work and so the fish is momentarily stunned and then floats to the surface. And so my job is to create that electric field to stun the fish and Jocelyn's job is to, is to retrieve that fish. We've put enough current in to stun the fish, but not to kill them. We, our aim is not to kill the fish. So every fish we catch, we inventory to determine what species they are, what size, and how much they weigh. And it's, it's by far one of the best inventory methods for a stream like this. So we're going to continue upstream, see if we can find some big rainbow trout up there. And so far we've been happy with the Chinook that we've caught downstream. Nobody. Oh,